Welcome to this product demonstration video where I'll be terminating a Category 6A NCS style cable with a Category 6A UTP connector. My name is Ralph Parrott, I'm Liberty's Director of Quality and Technical Services, and let's get this on. So first you want to make sure you have the right supplies and parts, so you need to have the connector, you need to have the cable, you've got to have a, a tweakers, a handy, a jacket stripper, and a pair of diagonal cutters, a pair of pliers, also handy to help close the connector. So your first step here, I'm going to open up the connector, kind of show you the parts. So the connector is going to come with a basic instruction sheet, the bag of course, and then you're going to have the, your parts. You're going to have your load bar, you're going to have your connector body, make sure it's open. Sometimes these do close on you. This one did. And your boot. So I'm going to size the boot to the cable. The way you do that is you basically slide the boot backwards down the cable till it stops. And then when it stops, you cut the little side takes off the rest of the boot, then you take it back off and slide it down the cable. So that's sizing the boot. Next step is going to be to strip jacket. I'm going to do about uh, one and a half to two inches. Got this uh, cigar cutter style stripper. I want to use the min spin so I don't cut too deep. Now I'll go ahead and pop my jacket off. Now you notice this, this does have, look like it has a shield, even though we call it NCS. It does look like it has a shield. But this shield is different. If I go ahead and trim, take this off, you'll notice both sides of the shield are blue. Both sides are covered with polyester, so it's non-conductive. If you put a multimeter on here, you would not get any conductivity on either side. So it's called the NCS for non-contiguous shield. So now you have a Category 6A twisted pair underneath here. It's a UTP cable is what it is. Go ahead and separate my pairs away from my spline. I want to take my spline off. You can either pull it and stretch it, cut it and let it snap back in, or you can go ahead and do just a Nice little cut down the bottom here, make it nice and neat. Spin that, pull it off. So now, the load bar of this connector has different codes. You have 568A, 568B, and industrial. We're going to be doing 568B, which is the most common one used for data. Now, we want to be cautious here because the green and the brown are the, the bottom pair here that go in this row here. So they're the ones that go in the holes. So you'll be sliding these in the holes down here, the bottom row. Some people do get this mixed up, but uh, yeah, bottom row is the anchor pair, green and brown, and then the top row is going to be the orange and blue. So I want to set my cable kind of up in the right position so that the colors match up. So I got my brown and my green, got green brown, so now I'm going to go ahead and untwist these. This is where the tweaker comes in handy. You go ahead and untwist them a little bit. Go ahead and put the tweaker in there and pull. It has twofold purpose. One, it untwists, and two, it kind of straightens them out too. So I'll go ahead and straighten out my pairs. So I want to get them in the right color code, so I need white, green, green, and then brown, white, brown, so the two solids in the middle basically. Once I get those, I go ahead and trim off this rough spot up here so it slides, slides in nice and smooth. I'll slide these in on the bottom row here. It takes a little bit of practice, but you go ahead and position all these to slide in. Slide that in all the way to the bottom and then fold the two outer conductors out like so in order to lock that low bar in place. Now I'm ready to put my other pairs in, so I'll go ahead and untwist these. Depending on your cable lay, you might have to pull it from underneath like I'm doing with this one, or if you're doing it uh, a different way, it might line up perfectly. It's all depending on the lay of the cable. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put these in the right color code. So I'm going to have white, blue, blue. Tuck them all down nice and tight. So once I have all that done, I can go ahead and trim off my wires now. So using the flush cut side of the flush cutters, I'm going to go ahead and pop each one of these. And that's all done. I can go ahead and pull off my color code indicator. So now the connector body has two rows of pins here, and then you have the two rows here. So the top row is going to line up with the top row of pins. So I'll flip this upside down, kind of slide it in here. And you'll feel it uh, actually drop into the slots when it's lined up. You'll feel it drop in. Go ahead and close the connector. The act of closing the connector does the termination. So you can do it by hand if you've got strong hands, or if you don't, you can go ahead and use a pair of pliers to do it. But just go down until you hear these two back tabs click. 
Now the strain relief on this connector is a, basically a twist tie, a zip tie. I'll go ahead and put this on here. You can do this a couple ways. You can do it with a zip tie gun. If you do, use a light setting so you don't uh, stress the cable. Or you can do it by hand. But just go ahead and zip that, tie that down, strain relief it. Trim off the excess. If you have this facing up like so, it actually acts as an anchor for the boot. So I'm going to go ahead and slide my boot on, slide it up, and you can see that uh, zip tie kind of pops right in there and becomes a lock. So now my boot's on there, locked in place. This is just a dust cover on the front, so it comes off. So this is a fully terminated NCS cable. It gives you all the benefits of a shielded cable, or most of the benefits of a shielded cable, with the ease of a UTP termination. Thank you.